What's up guys, Steve the Graphics Guy. Today we are running some network cable and that is what Mr. Brandon is spinning up right now. We put in pull string previously, which was probably many videos ago or maybe it was in this one, we don't know. But we set up some pull string in the walls before all the drywall and insulation got done. And it is making things a whole lot easier. So, we ran these little hooks all around and we're making easy work of the cable. We're doing some on-brand colors. We got blue for all of our computers and machinery. Probably gonna do red for cameras. Make everything look nice and pretty so people see it in the ceiling. All right, we're going to get to work. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's how everything comes out there. And then we're gonna run it right along that over there until we get to what's eventually going to be the network area here. So we're just pre-running some wires, labeling everything, and we're gonna get it all tied in to that area. So we have Oh, two more over here. We have a bunch of cameras and other ones to do. So we're gonna keep going. Well, we finished all the network cabling. We finished running all the network cabling. We didn't finish it. 
but we did what we wanted to do. Um, ran a couple drops here for a couple machines. Ran wires. They're all gonna go over here, which I think I already said, but this is where all the network IT gear is gonna go. We are color coded, as I think I already mentioned, um, for cameras, machines, and internet, and an access point. Everything starts up here, comes down, and then goes which way it needs to in order to accommodate all that. So, first step was running all the wires. Next, we gotta order a bunch of stuff um, to be able to finish it up. Keystones, faceplates, all that stuff. So that's that. Next up is painting these ugly, nasty colored doors that I've been wanting to paint since I started here. I wasn't convinced that I was going to do it, but now I got the paint in the sprayer and I'm ready to do it. So I just dusted them off, cleaned them, vacuumed them, taped off the windows, and the paint is in the sprayer and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna uh, pull up this time lapse real quick and show you what I did. So, judging by this photo behind me and the stop in the video, um, when the paint store says, oh yeah, that square footage, that'll cover. And I said, all right, I'm gonna be spraying it. You think I'll still be good? And they were like, yeah, it'll still be good. Well, the paint that's still on the hose and the little bit in the can that can't get sucked through the hose because of the sprayer situation. Maybe it would have been enough to cover that, but unfortunately, you can't get it out of there because it stops. So I had to run to Home Depot, which is now a different type of paint instead of Sherwin-Williams. But I got more paint. So let's continue with the time lapse. Hello, hello. It is me again. And today, which I didn't show you, my bad but i painted the doors the gray color so that's done i have a little bit of overspray because touch-ups are endless when i'm behind the sprayer it's non-stop i'm not a painter i'm a graphics guy <laughs> that's what i'll always be 